Kong. Welcome to my new video that is a gameplay in the KV-85. So let's start as always and ask the important question. What is my BPM? The initial spawn cost of my tank tells me that this is a full down deal match. The KV-85 is able to brawl. But in addition you want to use solid cover and pick your fights while doing so. The map we got is Carpathians with domination. And therefore I move to the capture point A. In my opinion this capture point is very important and crucial for the outcome of the match but this capture point is not that easy. On your way there you want to have an eye on the capture point C because the enemy can easily shoot on your side armor when you climb the hill from this side of the map. Yes you can also take the route that is behind the capture point A but in my opinion this is the support route for this map and when you have the chance to brawl you want to fight directly at the capture point. While I drive to the capture point Let's have a look at the other two points. My team is pushing both of them early in the match and at first glance this seems to be a good thing. But we will see later why it is especially important to capture and defend the capture point A. When I use the brawl route on this map I always drive through this little archway. Or when I have some gun depression I take the path to the left of me. Doing so I have some solid cover to my left and right and can check the situation before I push the capture point. The first enemy that I encounter is that little guy that appears to be totally lost in the open field. But just around the corner another enemy awaits me. While reloading I angle the KV-85 and make it more difficult for the enemy to shoot on my weak spots. In this situation I pick my fight. Because I know that I am able to just point and click the M24 back to the spawn. Now it gets interesting. Because normally to my left there should be some enemies since this is the support route for this capture point. But I guess in this situation I was lucky and the enemy didn't care much about this capture point. Nevertheless please keep in mind that you have to assume that there are some enemies to your left and actually I should have waited for my teammates that got a full up to your match to catch up and to secure my left side before I push the point. Once you have the point A. You can use the higher ground to oversee and defend both of the other points. When you now have a look on the minimap and you remember the situation at the beginning of the match where my team pushed both points. You can see that no team has the capture point C and all of my teammates got destroyed. I can't stress this enough. The capture point A is really important and from this side of the map the point C is really difficult to play at the beginning of the battle. When you use the KV-85 make sure to angle the armor and in addition use some solid cover to protect your tank. With the strong gun you should be able to take out every enemy that you encounter, especially from this position. Because another advantage of this position is that the enemy also has to concentrate on your teammates that are in front of him. Just a few more kills and further examples on how I use the armor of the KV-85 in a down tier match and some solid cover to protect my weaker side armor. On the minimap I can see that the capture point is getting cleared by the enemy and so it is time to check if I can find the hostile tank. I use the good mobility of the KV-85 and try to surprise the enemy that has to be on the point. But unfortunately I didn't take into account that there also might be some enemies on their way to the point. The other player was able to destroy my breach and just a few seconds later he was able to take me out. In the end I was able to destroy 10 enemy players by using my tips on how to play the KV-85. But much more important were the key positions I used on this map. I wasn't able to make a map tactic for Carpathians yet, but a guide will follow soon. I hope I was able to give you some tips on how to play the KV-85 and on how to play this map. Like, subscribe and leave a comment if you want to and check out my discord server for more information and to connect with other players. Hope to see you in game soon.